we head on and speak about your achievements, your accolades for the game of cricket, I want to understand a little bit more about your childhood. Is or was Hemang always notorious? Because we do know that that side of you, you're very funny, you're excited and you know everything about it. But tell us about Hemang in his childhood. Pomos, I'll have to think twice before I should answer this or not because I wasn't aware that Aware that you're going to go into my childhood, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I shall answer. Pretty notorious, pretty naughty, I would say, in the sense that uh, there are incidents where, uh, rather, I can talk about one which comes to my mind right away. Uh, there was a little puppy when I was about five or six years old, which was just barking for quite some time. And we were playing cricket, and I didn't like the fact that it was barking and running between our uh, cricket pitch, uh, which was a makeshift pitch uh, at my home. I picked the puppy, put the puppy in the well. Uh, that was just when I was about five, six, seven. There were times uh, there was a certain uncle in my apartment who had this habit of parking his car on purpose where we had the stumps. We used to have the stumps on the wall, uh, 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 on the wall where we had like a chalk mark on the stump, and on purpose because it was right at his house, he would park his car there. And I, being the prankster, on a, on a few occasions have actually taken the air off his car. I've kind of removed the. Uh, there's, there's this little nozzle that they have to fill the air. I've removed that and punctured this car. We can't call it punctured, but removed the air of his, uh, of his car. Yes, I mean, these are the couple of things that I do remember. Uh, a lot of other things are there, but I think I'll leave it at that. I've, I've broken my hand while playing cricket, not while playing cricket. The ball went over the ledge, I went over the, the building wall, I jumped over, caught the ball. On the way back, I had to catch hold of a branch and come back. The branch broke, I fell and I broke my right arm. So, I think I'll stop there. That says it all. Oh my God, that's... <laughs> we're glad you've recovered. You recovered from that incident. But did you know all the time that you wanted to become a cricketer? Or was there a person who pushed you towards cricket? Well, there's a little story to it in the sense that my dad did play some cricket in Tamil Nadu, played the league. Uh, we have those divisions from uh, 1 to 5. He didn't prolifically take it up as a professional player, uh, but he did play the sport on the weekend. So, as a little kid, uh, tagging along with his father, I would go and watch the matches and I would I would just kind of play before the match got over. My father bowling a few balls to me, a couple of my uncles bowling a few balls to me and one of them spotted saying that, uh, that I have some talent and he spoke to my dad and he said, why don't you at least teach him cricket, at least put him in a place where he can learn the sport and uh, and I was I was sent to a coaching class, uh, uh, the teacher there, the, uh, the, the coach there at the coaching class also mentioned the same thing that uh, he has something in him, why don't you send him to a school which actually will take his cricket forward and I shifted to a school about 10 kilometers from my house, uh, those days I had to take a couple of buses to reach to school, we used to practice at 6 o'clock in the morning, I used to leave home at 5. But that's when my journey as a cricketer started. But I still didn't know at that time whether I was going to become a cricketer, whether I'll play for India. That was, it was not even a dream. It was just more the fact that I loved playing the game. I was getting a chance to play the game at school. I was learning the game at school. But pretty much that was it. It was probably at 18, 19 when I played for the India under 19s. That's when I told myself, maybe it's, it's time to think about it a bit more seriously. Maybe it's a career option that I have and that's when it was more professional towards my sport. But earlier days, it was more just learning the game, enjoying the game, playing the game. But I, I enjoyed playing the game till the end, but it was more on a serious front where he knew that that's going to be my journey going forward. 